Hello everyone, this is John here with GeoJoy John, also coming at you from print from SD3D. I'm going to be changing the channel name here pretty soon. Back with an old video that was very popular. We have the Philostruder Kickstarter kit. Looks like a dangerous hack job here, but this is a filament maker, believe it or not. Spent some time this week getting it up and running. So um, I made some changes. I removed the oak board it was on before. I replaced it with some po um, poplar and it, it seems to be pretty sturdy. So let's start with the back here. We have the motor that turns into a socket that feeds into an auger that goes through a thrust mount down there into a pipe that has been cut right there to allow pellets to go in. These type of pellets right here. Those are PLA filaments. Uh, I only print PLA at the moment just because the air conditions I'm dealing with. It goes through a pipe, pushes the beads down into a melt chamber down here underneath all this insulation with a thermistor. And I am printing a new mount for the fan. It looks like an 80 millimeter fan right there. I'm gonna be mounting it onto the pipe there and it'll just hang in the way. But I have seen this operate just fine without an extra fan on the outside. I've discovered that this prints very, this makes filament very well when you uh, just let it fall down to the floor. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And let me show you some of the filament it's made. So this is from some of the filament I made back in my previous residence. And it's um, it's actually not bad. You can see that there are some bins in there, but that doesn't affect the print quality at all. It's um, it's actually quite consistent with the, the diameter. So it's not bad filament. I have made a print out of it. It gives a nice crystal look to it with this uh, clear PLA. But it is possible to make some of your own filament. I'm actually going to start with a new batch of filament and I want to show you how I'm going to feed that in there. So here I've printed out a bracket or a, a feeder tube that goes into the hopper. It's two pieces. I like this design because it allows me to remove it without removing the entire pipe uh, from the mount. I, it does use a water a soda bottle fitting which makes it really easy to fit any type of water bottle here. But they do show a two liter but I, I was unable to find a position where I can actually place a two liter in line with everything. It seemed very difficult. So I don't think it was gonna work. So I used a smart bottle. I just used some uh, dunk off and I got the label off there. I am still considering all options for either cutting this, making this a removable lid and making this a one way check valve so that when I do take it off, there's a way to actually keep the beads from going all over the place, which it often does. So it's still, it does take a long time to heat up. It took about 20 minutes to get to that temperature. And from what I do remember, we need to heat this up to a little bit over PLA's main melting temperature. So I'm gonna bring that up to about 180, let's go 188. 187.9, and that'll set it. And that will set it and then it will be about two degrees cooler than that because the ambient temperature. The fan here is one that came with the kit. It's our, I've already broken a few blades on it. So if I need a new fan, that's not a problem. But I did have a, a heck of a time trying to get all the wires and everything in the configuration I need. I pretty much had to rewrite the whole schematic from scratch. So here's all the schematics I have. And it's uh, actually I had to make some errors. So I had to reverse engineer my old work from several years ago. So keep, stay tuned, and I know some of you like the filament stuff. Oh, looks like this fell off. Let's go ahead and put that back up there. I'll have to figure a way to keep that on there. Okay, guys. Well, this has been GeoDroid John. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.